6. Robert Tappan Morris Robert Tappan Morris picked up his knowledge of computers from his father Robert Morris, who was a computer scientist at Bell Labs and later the NSA. Morris is credited as the creator of the world's first known computer worm. Given that all types of computer viruses have spawns, and it is safe to say he's not too popular with users. What did he do? In 1988, he created the Morris worm while he was a student at Cornell University. The program was intended to gauge the size of the internet, but it had a flaw. Computers could be infected multiple times and each infection would cause the computer to slow down even more. It rendered over 6,000 computers unusable. Where is he now? In 1989, Robert Tappan Morris was found to have violated the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. He was sentenced to three years on probation, 400 hours of community service, and a $10,050 fine. He eventually found it Y Combinator and is now a tenured professor, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Five, Gary McKinnon, known as Solo on the internet, allegedly coordinated what would become the largest military computer hack of all time. What did he do? Over a 13 month period, from February 2001 to March 2002, McKinnon illegally accessed 97 computers belonging to the U.S. Armed Forces and NASA. He claimed he was only searching for information on free energy suppression and UFO cover-ups. But according to U.S. authorities, he deleted a number of critical files and rendered over 300 computers inoperable resulting in over $700,000 in damages. Where is he now? Being of Scottish descent and operating out of the United Kingdom, McKinnon was able to dodge the American government until 2005, when he faced extradition. After a series of appeals, the British Wee Minister at the time, Derry Surmay, blocked his extradition on the grounds that he was seriously ill and that extradition would be incompatible with his human rights. 4. Kevin Powelson Kevin Powelson, also known as Dark Dante, earned his 15 minutes of fame by utilizing his intricate knowledge of telephone systems. At one point, he hacked a radio station's phone lines and fixed himself as the winning caller, earning him a brand new Porsche. The media dubbed him the Hannibal Lecter of computer crime. What did he do? Howson got himself onto the FBI's wanted list when he hacked into federal systems and stole wiretap information. He was later captured in a supermarket of all places and sentenced to 51 months in prison and a bill for $56,000 in restitution. Where is he now? Powelson changed his ways after being released from prison in 1995. He began working as a journalist and is now a contributing editor for Wired. In 2006, he even helped law enforcement to identify 744 sex offenders on MySpace. Three. Albert Gonzalez. Albert Gonzalez is another of the best computer hackers in the world. He started off as the leader of a hacker group called Shadow Crew. In addition to stealing and selling credit card numbers, Shadow Crew also fabricated fraudulent passports, health insurance cards, and birth certificates for identity theft crimes. What did he do? Albert Gonzalez paved his way to internet fame when he collected more than 170 million credit card and ATM card numbers over a period of two years. 
He then hacked into the databases of TJX companies and Heartland payment systems to steal all of their stored credit card numbers as well. Where is he now? Gonzalez was sentenced to prison for 20 years. Two sentences is of 20 years to be served simultaneously and is scheduled for release in 2025. 2. Jonathan James Jonathan James The story of Jonathan James, known as C0 Rad, is a tragic one. He began hacking at a young age, managing to hack into several commercial and government networks and being sent to prison for it all while he was still a minor. What did he do? James eventually hacked into NASA's network and downloaded enough source code assets equaling $1.7 million at the time to learn how the International Space Station worked. NASA had to shut down its network for three weeks while investigating the breach, costing an additional $41,000. Where is he now? In 2007, several high-profile companies fell victim to numerous malicious network attacks. Even though James denied any involvement, he was suspected and investigated. In 2008, James committed suicide believing he would be convicted of crimes he didn't commit. 1. Kevin Mitnick, top of the world famous hacker list, is Kevin Mitnick. The U.S. Department of Justice called him the most wanted computer criminal in U.S. history. Kevin Mitnick's story is so wild that it was even the basis for a featured film called Track Down. It is often argued that he was the world's best hacker of all time. What did he do? After serving a year in prison for hacking into the Digital Equipment Corporation's network, he was let out for three years of supervised release. But near the end of that period, he fled and went on a two and a half year hacking spree that involved breaching the National Defense Warning System and stealing corporate secrets. Where is he now? Mitnick was eventually caught and convicted with a five-year prison sentence. After fully serving those years, he became a consultant and public speaker for computer security. He now runs Mitnick Security Consulting, LLC. If you like this video, please comment down below on what you would like to see next.